Hi, I'm Lee Chantel from VivaLaVegan.net and today I'm here in Seattle as part of my US adventures. I'm here today with Rebecca Bolte and she's going to speak to us today about veganism and her photography business. So tell us about veganism. Why did you become vegan? Um, I became vegan because it's just the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, I had been vegetarian for a number of years mm -hmm. and knew all of the facts and all yeah. of the uh, information and just hadn't stepped over that line until I found myself actually having one of those online arguments with someone uh. and I found myself arguing for veganism mm -hmm. and at one point I was just like what am I doing mm -hmm. like why do I know all these facts do I know all this information and mm -hmm. why am I still eating cheese and mm -hmm. stuff because it's convenient or whatever so I was just no more cool I'm vegan and how long ago was that um, that was uh, about five or six years ago. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, I was I was kind of a bad vegan prior to that. Like I mm. was um, mostly vegan. Like I would never buy dairy products, yeah. but I would eat them if they were in something or. Yeah, a lot of people whatever. say they do that um, just so like if, especially if you go to someone's house and they make something and you don't want to upset the host and you want to consume whatever they've produced for you and made for you and you just don't. Was that? A reason? Or yeah, but it, but it, it was bullshit. Yeah. I was just you excuses. Know. Yeah, it was just excuses. It yeah. was just li I don't know what it was. It was just my own like not just making that connection yeah. and the synapses weren't firing properly. And yeah. finally, I made it and I was like, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, exactly. That's great. And you run a um, uh, photography business. What, yeah. Um, what's that? My website is RebeccaBolte.com mm -hmm. and uh, mostly I do uh, family portraits and things like that, mm -hmm. uh, weddings and uh, commercials, um, advertising, stuff like that for people. Mm -hmm. um, I love to focus on uh, vegan weddings if yeah. I can. So. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's one of my favorite things to do is, mm -hmm. is to do like vegan weddings. So yeah, great. Yeah. And um, do you find many vegan clients or yeah, luckily they find you or yeah, yeah. luckily in uh, in in uh, Seattle there's a lot there's a pretty big vegan population. Mm -hmm. So um, and and a lot of my friends are kind of getting married now. So yeah. it, I'm I'm, so I'm so working on age, it. <laughs> Most of my friends are married, or around my age anyway, most of them are married and have kids and mortgages and all that stuff. Right. So, well, that's what you do, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm working on it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. And do you do a few um, vegan businesses as well? Yeah, so uh, I was asked to do an installation at Wayward Vegan Cafe, which is my favorite restaurant mm -hmm. in Seattle that I love, and I was really flattered that they asked me to do the artwork there yeah. um, as a permanent collection. And it's hang, hung up in the Wayward Cafe as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's all on display at, at Wayward, and it's it's there for good, mm -hmm. as far as I'm, I know. Yeah. <laughs> what sort of photographs have you got there? Um, so I, uh, sh I do a series of um, like still lifes of uh, fruits and vegetables mm -hmm. and things like that. And so for Wayward, because they kind of have this little bit more, I don't know, industrial sort of vibe to mm -hmm. them, I took uh, vegetables and... and place them next to machinery and yeah, took cool. really uh, close up shots in mm. black and white and you can see those on my website as well but yeah. um, they're, they're, they sort of look like abstract pictures but they're mm -hmm. vegetables and stuff. So. I love black and white photography too, it just yeah. has much more depth I think than colour. Do you prefer black and white or colour? Um, each one has its own application. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And you're um, working on another um, business at the moment. Yeah, so um, after I did the Wayward, um, the uh, owner of Chocolate Shoebox, which mm -hmm. is a new vegan uh, shoe store in our uh, in Seattle. Uh, yeah, we went there today. Yeah, we went there today, today and we, yeah. we, we left with tons of shoes. We got stuff, a lot of so. shoes and some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> what could you want? Yeah, it was great. It was... Had a bit of a girly, girly afternoon. <laughs> yeah, so I was really excited when they asked me to do some artwork for their store. Um, and they saw your Wayward one, didn't they? Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And they had thought that I was going to do some more, you know, fruit and vegetable still lifes, mm -hmm. but um, I decided to try to go a different route and do yeah. some shoes and chocolate photos. Yeah, so promote we'll, their goods. As yeah, well. exactly. Mm -hmm. So um, we're working on that right now, mm -hmm. and we did some some uh, photos of you today, which yeah, worked out really off, well. Showed off <laughs> some legs and things like that. So and we've got another shoot scheduled for tomorrow. Yeah. So. So I'm really yeah, excited. Have yeah. to check out um, Rebecca Bolte for that dot com and Leeshantel dot com. It'll be on there as well soon. Yeah.
That's great. And um, yeah, it, it's great to give back to the vegan community too with your skills and your talents, isn't it? Yeah, I hope I can do more. I think um, there's always more that people can do. And, but I think that as an artist, um, if you if you hold beliefs and you're true to yourself, like it comes out in your work no matter yeah. what. So. Oh yeah, that's so true. <laughs> Just getting kissed by the pussycat <laughs> on my toes. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, what do you think is great about the Seattle vegan scene? There's a lot of us. Yeah. That's the that's the greatest thing. Like we um, like going to uh, Veg Fest, for example, the Veg Fest that we have here. Um, just the n the sheer number of people yeah. that come out is is really and encouraging. And it's just mostly Seattle people, or people come from interstate, or I think it's mostly just Seattle people. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm sure a few people you know travel, but there's a, there's one in Portland too, yeah. and there's you know I'm sure there's a scene in you know BC as well. So mm -hmm. it's I think it's a lot. It's mostly Seattle, and we have we have so many vegan restaurants, and, and even the non-vegan restaurants have something that vegans yeah. can eat. Like you can't not cater to vegans here. Yeah, there's a few places I've been in America. They're very um, vegan, sort of centered, like Portland. I've been to here in Seattle. And I've heard New York is also really good for vegans, so I think yeah. I'm ticking all the good ones off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, what's your other business that you run, um, the education one, with, uh, what's that called? We've just recently started the Animal Rights Education Alliance, it's a non-profit group mm -hmm. that is uh, sponsoring speaking events here mm -hmm. in Seattle to help educate people on animal rights issues. Because mm -hmm. uh, while we do have a lot of vegans, um, you know, sometimes being ve just being vegan isn't enough and yeah. we have to learn how to speak to one another mm -hmm. and how to lead by example and how to yeah. spread veganism to other people. Um, so part of that is, is educating people on, um, you know, proper communication mm -hmm. techniques, which I need some help with too I'm sometimes. Doing but <laughs> um, and well, uh, we can always learn more, I guess. Sure. Yeah. And also, uh, you know, direct action issues and, mm -hmm. and things like that. So. And have you had any particular people that have come to speak at the So event? far, so. we've had um, uh, Josh Harper, who's sort of a local mm -hmm. vegan celebrity. Yeah, he's like <laughs> the Shack 7 guy. Yeah, he's yeah. not really a celebrity, but... Yeah. Um, and uh, he spoke with Sarah Jane Blum, and mm -hmm. so and they were. She, she um, had an Animal Planet special yeah. done on her after she had um, liberated some foie gras geese mm -hmm. uh, a number of years ago. So they were just talking about sort of the differences between uh, the public perception of their actions. You know, yeah. Josh was punished very harshly, and Sarah was given an Animal Planet special. So yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Weird. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what other ones are you playing? Anything in the park? Um, yeah, so our next few events I think are going to just be fundraisers so that we can um, uh, get some funding to get mm -hmm. some really good speakers to come here. Yeah. Uh, so we're working right, on yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. And where can fi people find out more information about that? You can go to areaonline.org. How do you spell that? That's A R E A online dot O R G. Cool. Yeah. Easy. That's great. Anything else you want to speak to us about today? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> oh, we did a we did a bit of a fun thing um, this evening for dinner. We did a little um, what would you call it? Um, dinner making. What, what did we call it? A I think we called it a recipe challenge, but it ended up being challenge. a recipe like I don't know. It ended up just being us making dinner. Yeah, <laughs> we. Um, the idea was that Rebecca would say, "Okay, with what I've got in the fridge and the cupboard, what would you make?" So, um, but we pretty much just both cooked together and just did our own versions of the similar thing, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. But it went over well. It was good. It was tasty. Yeah. Mm. And Delicious. you can see that on our websites probably later. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time out to speak to us. Well, Rebecca. thank you. And have a look at RebeccaBolte.com and see vivalavegan.net for more interviews. Thank you.